first uh, incorporated cows, we had a staff of five. And of those five, one retired last week, and the other four of us are still here. There has honestly never been a day that I didn't look forward to coming here. People come in for our ice cream because that's what we're most known for. They would want to buy our hats and our t-shirts, which said cows. So we decided we'd print some extra ones for sale, and they sold really well. And that's how we started our retail store. We sell a whole line of things, everything from pens and alarm clocks to postcards and shot glasses. <laughs> And pajamas are very popular. Some of us were skeptical that people would buy a t-shirt with the word cows on it and a cow image. But 25 years later, we have 10 stores, six here on the island, one in Banff, one in Whistler, Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario, and one in Halifax. When I look back uh, from when we started at our first ice cream stand and all of the expansion and growth that we've had since then. There's no question without the support of ACOA, we could never have grown how we have. It's nice to have partners that believe in what you're doing and help you along the way. Uh, Scott Linkletter, who's the owner of Cows, was on a trip to Scotland and he met a farmer who was making this bandaged wrapped cheese and he was fascinated by the process. He stayed for a couple of days, he learned how to make it, and came home and said, guess what, folks, we're going to be in the cheese business. We're the only ones in Canada doing this cloth-bound process, and we won first place at the American Cheese Society Awards last year for the best cloth-bound cheddar. If we had used the cow's brand and the logo, but not delivered the quality and the goods, we wouldn't have survived very long. So I think at the end of the day, it's the quality of our t-shirts and the quality of our ice cream. When we say quality, we mean it, and we show it, and you can taste it.